I'm thankful for the things that you have done. Yeah. yeah. I'm grateful for the victories we won. I could go on and on and on about your words because So I had to take a, a pill for anxiety. I'm going to tell you, I get real nervous going to the dentist. The night before, and then that morning, an hour before my appointment, I had to take a pill. And then when I got there, they did all the prepping and everything, and, and then they gave me the gas and all of that and then they came to me and they they told me they said we let you sleep for a while but we're not going to be able to do the procedure because the tool broke well i said okay so i had to go back the next day but i went home so i'm going to tell you what happened and it was nothing but the grace and the mercy of God. I fell asleep in my car. And the garage door was down. The garage door was down. And I had been asleep in my car for about two and a half hours. Glory to God. But guess what? My car had shut off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's gratefulness. Hey, yeah, yeah. It's gratefulness. It's gratefulness. It's gratefulness. Hey, it's gratefulness. Because you kept me. You protected me. You never left me. You smiled on me. 
up my heart, Lord, are the issues of oh, is gratefulness. Thank you, Lord. 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 We praise you, we give you glory, yes, we magnify you, we exalt your name, Lord, we exalt your name, Lord, we exalt your name, Lord, yeah, yeah, we magnify you, oh, yes, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough for this gratefulness. Hallelujah. It's all right to praise him. It's all right to thank him. He's been good to us. Glory, he's been good to us. Despite of it all, despite of everything, he's been good to us. Hallelujah. Oh, glory is gratefulness. It's gratefulness. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. looking at me like y'all don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> but he's worthy <laughs> tell your neighbor it could have been me hallelujah but I'm here hallelujah and his gratefulness hallelujah oh Jesus glory and I was just thinking on my way to church I said Lord I, I said I must suppose to deliver this word today I'm going to give it my best shot. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. This, this, let me pray first. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We magnify you. We exalt you, dear Lord. Father, I pray if there be anything in me, God, that's not like you, take it out now in the name of Jesus. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me, God. Whatever you do, Father, don't take your spirit from me, dear Lord. I love you so much. You've been so good, God. You brought me, and I'm thankful. Hallelujah. I pray, hide me behind the cross today, God. Oh, God, crucify 
myself in me, God, and let the Holy Spirit speak through me today. I thank you, Lord, that this word shall fall on good ground, and I thank you that the enemy shall not be able to steal it from us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and it shall take root in the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit that is not like you, God. I bind every distracting spirit, God. I bind every spirit that would try to come in and confuse us today, God. I bind that spirit, and I command it to leave this house now. In the name of Jesus, and I loose the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth, hallelujah, in this house today. Move and have your way. Let your glory be revealed, and we say thank you and amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Y'all, let's speak it because I just hear it. I, I do what I hear. Hallelujah. Let's speak this. We shall live and shall not die. Say it again like you know it. To declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Very quickly, I give honor to God. I give honor to uh, Bishop Burton in his absence. I give honor to all of the elders and the ministers, to all of the deacons, to all of the mothers, all the missionaries, and to each and every one of you that are here. And I say, God bless you. Last but not least, I give honor to my husband. I thank God for my husband because my husband allows me to do the work of the Lord without any hindrance, and he is an encouragement, and he prays for me, and I thank God for him. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Very, very quickly, um, this word came to me because... I, I have been praying and asking the Lord. It, it bothers me when we're praying, but we don't see results. That, that bothers me. And so I've been asking the Lord, Lord, what's, what's going on? It, it, we're saved, you know. Well, most of us are saved. I, I can't speak for everybody, but most of us, we're saved, Holy Ghost filled, and we're praying. I know prayer's going on in the sanctuary. They're doing noonday prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They're doing noonday prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays on the prayer line. They, they're praying on Tuesday evening. And then the others are praying at home. I know Sister Michelle has the prayer line going on Sunday. And then some, some of us, we, we have prayer lives. Some of us don't have prayer lives, but some of us have real prayer lives. Amen? So I said, Lord, we're praying, and we're seeing in your face like you said why aren't we seeing the results of our prayers it bothered me and I just began to weep before him because I have lost loved ones I, I have lost friends that have been dear to my heart I have seen my sisters and my brothers suffering I know that there are some that are sick among us even now and I'm praying God we need your healing miracles we need signs and we need wonders what is going on that we're not seeing it and I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that's wondering what, why. And, that, and as I began to pray, when I got done, I'm going to tell you what I heard. I heard two words. It said, these kind. These kind. And I, it, it took me to the scripture. I, and when I heard these kind, I said, okay. I said, Jesus said. This kind comes out through much prayer and fasting. Amen. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about prayer and fasting with purpose. Amen. Prayer and fasting with purpose. Because we have work to do. We have real work to do. Hallelujah. Amen. 
this morning, the scripture, and when I woke up, I told my husband, I said, Dad, I hear the scripture. I, I said, I hear, I beseech you, therefore. So we're going to look at Romans chapter 12, verse 1 through 2. And Paul writes, he says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. That's including sisters, too. That's including it's all of us. I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So when I read that, I said, I said, that sounds like a mandate to me. And a mandate is defined as an official order or commission to do something, to be intentional about, when it's talking about this scripture here, is to be intentional about surrendering ourselves and all that we are to the Lord so he can use us in whatever manner or rather capacity that he chooses. And why do we need to be intentional about it, about surrendering to the will of the Lord? It's because we're called according to his will. Not my will, not your will, not deacon's will over there, but to the Lord's will. And you can find that in Romans 8 and 28. Amen. So we're called according to God's will. That's first and foremost, okay? And he's telling us, he's, Paul right here, he literally beseeches almost like, 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 like he's on his knees pleading with you. I'm begging you to present your body a living sacrifice because we're alive, we're breathing. We have breath in our bodies, so we will be a living sacrifice. How? With how we live, with how we serve. With how we are to surrender everything to God and don't be transformed by this world. It don't mean that we done backslid. I could talk about myself. I had to quit and turn off Netflix and Showtime because I love action-packed movies. I do. I love action-packed movies. And I'm going to tell you why I love it because it's, it's good against evil, number one, and I see it as the, the, the uh, devil and the Lord fighting. And, then I, and I love how the devil gets beat up. It always looked like they're going to win, but in the end, God always comes through. That's why I love action movies. That's why I love action movies, because I'm, I'm seeing it from that perspective. And I'm seeing how sometimes that's how the angels be fighting for us. You know, we can't see them physically, but I'm like, yeah, that's what that angel's doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right, using this word right now. I done gave him a kick in his butt. I done stomped on his feet. I chopped his head off. That's how I see it. So, but I had to stop it, because I was binging. I was binging. And so when you binge, for me, and my husband will tell you, I would be up all night. <laughs> and I would be tired the next day. And I would be trying to pray. And I would be falling asleep. <laughs> it's just the truth. But the thing about it is I'm not the only one. Now, you might not be binging with Netflix and Showtime and, and, and with the fire stick. Let me say the fire stick, with the fire stick. You might be on your phone. Some people are addicted to that telephone, constantly looking at Facebook, on Instagram, and, and uh, what's that other one, YouTube, all of that stuff, you know. But, and what I'm trying to say is, or some people like to shop. 
<laughs> so they in the store doing stuff. And then, so then when you get home and you say, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, read my Bible, or I'm going to do this, that, and the other, you sit down and you're so tired till you just be sitting there. Sitting there, sitting there an idol. Or you've just been so busy, caught up in the things of the world till we just busy. Life, that's it, that's it, life. Life has gotten us. And so we get distracted. But he's telling us here, he's saying that don't be transformed by the things of the world but let our mind be renewed through the world, through the, through the things of God, through the things of God. And that's what has happened. Remember, the Bible says that, that the devil, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and he wants to sift us as wheat. He has turned up the fire on us. He has. And, and uh, you gotta be blind not to recognize that since COVID, things have really changed. And, and, and I just sit back and watch sometimes, and I'll be like, why it seem like we're more busy now than we ever been, you know, before? Am I the only one that be thinking that? It's like, but what are we so busy doing? That is a tactic of the enemy. That's the tactic of the enemy. And that's why I believe the Lord is saying now, and, and I'm talking to us as a church, to the Holy Trinity as a church, prayer's good, but it's not enough. We have got to start fasting. Some of us are fasting, but guess what? We got to do more now. We got to fa fast more. We got to fast more. And I'm, I'm, I've got my notes here, but I want to talk about sometimes when we fast, we're really not focused. There's a discipline to fasting. And I, I want to talk about that because we got work to do. Tell your neighbor, say, well, we got work to do. And it's labor and prayer and labor and fasting. Fasting, when, when you're fasting, I'm not talking about the intermittent fasting. I'm not talking about the fasting when we have to go and, and have blood tests and things like that. I'm talking about on the spiritual side now, okay? Fasting deals with turning your plate down and rejecting the things that we find pleasurable. Amen? Okay. Let me go and flip on over here to my notes because I'm going to take us to the Bible. We already know that prayer deals, deals with communicating with God, right? That's having a conversation like what I'm having with you right now. We talk to God. It says for us to pray without ceasing, be anxious for nothing but in everything through prayer and supplication. So no matter what, I don't care what it is that's on your mind that you're dealing with, you talk to God about it. Talk to God about it. Some of the things that have been happening is we have not been talking to God about it. We've been talking maybe to our friend or talking to somebody at work about it. What can they do? What can they do? We need to talk to God about it. And then fasting, I'm going to give you the biblical definition of what fasting is. It is to abstain from physical nourishment or to voluntarily reduce or eliminate your intake of food for a specific time and purpose. And I like that because, see, there's different type of fasts. There's different type of fasts. There's the Daniel fast. Then there's, there's the uh, full fast, the whole fast, where we abstain from water and from food for a certain amount of time. And then there may be where you say, I'm going to consecrate myself, and you do like what I did. I'm going to tell you how I broke it. I had to fast from the TV. 
So now I can have the TV on, but the sound will be down, and I'm not, and I'm not paying attention to it. Or sometimes I will pay attention to it, but I'm not caught up in it like I used to be because I had to get delivered from that because it was interfering because I needed to be praying. We got things going on. I need to be praying. Okay. So I'm flipping through my notes. How do we fast? Let's look at, I want to look at Isaiah 58, verse 3 and 12. You have your Bibles with you? I know a lot of us, use, usually when I, when I don't have to teach, I'll have my, my electronic device, my phone. So get your phone and go to, the, go to Isaiah 58, verse 3 through 12. I'm moving. I had a lot of stuff I wanted to share, but I, I want to uh, get this because we need to understand it. When you have it, say amen. amen. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou see if not. They're talking to the Lord. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of the wickedness. So he's saying right here, I'm not recognizing your fast because you are having fun while you're fasting. You're talking too much. And you're probably fasting for the wrong reason. You, you want to fast because you want God to get that sister or get that brother because they did something to you. Rather than asking the Lord, Lord, work in me. Work in me. Help me. Help me to deal with them. Give me the ability to deal with them. Help me to see me. Or your, your, uh, my dad used to say how he used to fast because he wanted to be really sharp in the scriptures so he could deb debate with my grandfather, Papa Wells. And y'all know my daddy can run through them scriptures. He wasn't no joke. He had that anointing. God gave it to him. But it's God gave it to his daddy too. But the Bible's saying that's the wrong, that's the wrong reason to, for us to be fasting, to be debating. And to be arguing about things. It serves no purpose. All that does is really stir your flesh up. And then you go to getting mad and getting irritated. And the devil done whooped you again. And the Bible says, it goes on to say, Ye shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. Now, he's getting ready to tell us the right way. Okay? Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? It's about sacrificing. To hurt this nasty flesh, which nothing good dwells in. Paul lets us know that in the word. He said nothing good dwells in our flesh. So we want to kill it off. That's the reason why we're fasting. We want to kill this nasty flesh off so that the spirit man, spirit woman can become stronger. It's purpose in prayer and fasting. Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast, an acceptable day of the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? The reason that we're fasting is to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. Every yoke. Tell your neighbor, say, it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. Amen. Is it not to, de to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? We're supposed to be serving. 
We're supposed to be serving. When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh. We got a clothes closet here. If you know somebody that needs clothes, or if you know somebody that's hungry and they need food, we have a food pantry here. You need to let them know so that we can serve them. Don't just go buy them. These are the reasons why we fast. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. I know I want to be in good health. How about y'all? I know I do. I want to be in good health. I want to see my sisters and my brothers in good health. Amen? And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. We don't have to be all loud. We ain't got to tell it. And I'm doing this and I'm doing that and so forth like that. Just do what you're going to do. And the Lord says he will reward you. Then shall thou call. Listen, he's saying, then when you call on me and the Lord shall answer, thou shall cry. And he shall say, here I am. I know I've been crying a little bit. Have y'all been crying? I've been crying because, oh, God, we need you. Oh, God, hallelujah. We need you, Jesus. We need you, oh, God. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Sometimes my husband be gone, I'll be going through the house. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's all I know to say right now. Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you to fix it. Jesus, turn it around. Jesus, send your word. Jesus, come on, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody tell him, Hallelujah. Glory, we need you. We need you. Somebody's marriage is hurting. Hallelujah. Somebody's struggling trying to feed their children. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Show us a better way, God. We need you today. We need you, Lord. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey. Glory to God. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. When we get it right, he said you can call me and I'll answer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yay. Oh, God. Oh, God. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger and speaking vanity. If you stop talking about your sister, if you stop talking about your brother, if you quit tearing one another down, if you quit, quit speaking curses over one another and begin to speak life. Oh my God, speak life. That's why I told you, speak it with me. We shall live and not die. Speak life. Speak what this word says. Hallelujah. If we stop doing that to one another, if we stop doing that, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, we just, it's just nice to be nice. It's just nice to be nice. Give somebody a smile. Tell them, God bless you. You know I love you. That's a beautiful dress you have on. Oh, your hair looks so nice. Just be nice. Jesus loves you. 
you going to make it. Randall, you going to make it. Hallelujah, Sharon, you going to make it. You going to make it, Megan. Hallelujah. It's good to be nice. Then shall thy light rise in obscurity and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a water garden and like a spring of water whose water fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Listen, 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 listen. We've been hit in this ministry. We've been hit hard. We lost daddy. Then we lost my brother. But God, but God, if we do it God's way, he said, and they shall be of thee, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations. We got work to do. And thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Say it again, thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And then let's look at Matthew 6, verse 16 through 18. This is Jesus talking here. He said, moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites. Hypocrites want to be seen. They, they want to be seen. They want you to know what they're doing. They go around with a sad countenance, so you'll say, oh, what's wrong? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm fasting. I'm just, I'm just seeking the Lord. I'm just praying. Oh, yeah. For they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. They got their reward right there. They got their reward. But thou, he's telling us what to do. But thou, when thou fast, this is what we're supposed to do. Get up, anoint your head with oil. And then wash your face. Anoint your head with oil, then wash your face. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret. Amen. Amen. And thy Father which seeth in secret, he shall reward you openly. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to talk about real quick, and we almost done. Because fasting does something for us. Remember I told you when we fast, we're killing off the flesh? We're, we're killing that flesh. And uh, what it does, it, 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 uh, it's killing off the flesh, but then... It's also helping us to be more receptive of the Holy Spirit. See, when you go into fasting, what will happen is the Holy Ghost will show you you. He'll show you you. He'll show you who you don't like for real. He'll show you who you've been lying and putting your mouth on. He'll show you when you're faking. He'll show you because he'll bring conviction to you because your flesh has now been dead. It's been killed, and that spirit man can begin to come forth and begin to reveal unto you and bring the word that's in you back to you, cause it to come alive in you. And you can repent. 
See, he'll help us to clean our heart. Some of us have unforgiveness, and I'm going to talk about it because he told me to talk about it. Some of us got unforgiveness in our hearts because of things that have happened to us in our past. And we think that we've forgiven, but we haven't forgiven. And some of us know we haven't forgiven, but we think we hide it. But you can't hide from God. You can't hide from God. And if we don't forgive, he's not going to forgive us. That's the Bible. That's what he says. If we don't forgive, he's not going to forgive us. He won't hear us when we pray. So we have to forgive with everything that is within us. Sometimes we can be hurt so deeply and so bad. That it's hard to forgive. It's real. It's hard to forgive. But if you desire to forgive, God will give you the ability to be able to do it. He will help you. And there's some here that need that help today. God's here for you today. He will help you to forgive. The Holy Ghost knows how to go into the deep, hard crevices, them, them hard places, them places where we hurt. And he knows how to deliver us and heal us from all of that mess so that we can be set free. He said, loose us. Destroy the yokes. So we got to start with a heart. Lord, search me. Shine the, 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 the elderly or the old folks, the, the older mothers. Don't y'all get me mothers. <laughs> but the older mothers used to say, Lord, shine that spotlight from heaven on my soul. Search me. If you find anything that's in me that should not be, Lord, take it out. Take it out. I don't want it. I don't want it. If you don't want it, tell them right now, I don't want it. Take it out. Deliver me and set me free. Ha, Yasha. Tell them again, deliver me and set me free because I don't want it. I want to be pleasing to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell him, create in me a clean heart, God. Create in me a clean heart, God. And renew a right spirit in me. My spirit needs to be right. We can have a wrong spirit sometime. Oh, I want a right spirit, God. I want a right spirit. Heal these bones that you have broken. Heal me, God, and I shall be healed. Wash me and I shall be washed, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Fasting. It brings about humility and surrendering to the Lord. And that causes us, see, see what it does because the flesh is dying or is dead. And the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of us. We'll hear him at a higher level. You won't have to wonder, is this you? Holy Ghost, is this you? Because you'll hear him so clear. You'll know it's him. You'll know it's him. And he'll lead and guide you. We have uh, things... I have some things before the Lord. I need some direction. Which way to go? He's going to give it to me. I'm going to be able to hear him. More clearer than I've been able to hear him before. He's going to do it. And he'll do it for you too. So we'll have greater clarity and hear at a higher level. And then fasting will help to increase your faith. 
and to build your confidence in the Lord. Fasting, when you, what it does is the gifts, because God gave each and every one of us a gift. He gave some of us more than one gift. That fasting with prayer, it'll activate them gifts. It'll activate them. That's what I'm looking for him to do with me. I know he gave me the gift of healing. I'm looking for him to activate it, make it stronger than what it is. But I got to go in. I got to get on my knees. And, and I got to cry out to him. I got to turn my plate down. This flesh got to die some more. It ain't dead enough. It ain't dead enough. To me, it's never dead enough. Fasting helps to release the power of the Holy Ghost in us at a greater capacity. Don't you want it? I know I want it. I told the Lord I want it. And I don't care what I got to do to get it. Y'all can talk about me all you want. Oh, she always over in the corner. She always saying, let's pray. She always over there moving her mouth. She always talking to the Lord. She always saying, oh, God. She always saying, Lord, I need you. She always saying, thank you, Jesus. She weird. She straight. I don't care what you think. I want to walk in the power of God. My heart hurts. My heart hurts when I see my sisters and my brothers, they're sick. We got saints here that are at home now because they're wrestling with these diseases. And I know that the name of Jesus is greater than any name on earth. And I know that God can heal and deliver and set them free. It's worth it to me to turn my plate down. It's worth it. Not for my own glory, but for the glory and honor of God. That he may get the glory. That he may get the glory. That's what it's about. That's my purpose. What's yours? Do you know it? If you don't know it, Seek him. Turn your plate down. Ask him, Lord, reveal my purpose. Reveal my purpose. What am I supposed to be doing? What gifts have you given me? Ask him. But you got to dig in and do the work. You got to dig in and do the work. I got on my notes right here and say wrap it up. So I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> I didn't read everything, so I'm going to be obedient. But this is what I want to say to us. The Lord has a work for Holy Trinity to do, but he's requiring us not to only pray, but to fast. And it's time to labor in prayer and fasting together corporately for this ministry, for the Kojic Center, for Bishop Burton, that God will give wisdom and that he will give guidance and that he will destroy, that he will break. He told us to, to speak to the mountains and they'll be moved, that the mountains will be moved. Sometimes we need, sometime prayer by itself is not enough. We need that that push that comes from fasting. There's a push that comes from fasting. And this ministry needs a breakthrough. It needs a breakthrough. Now, do y'all have some pencil and paper? I was talking to my sister, Tiffany, was, that, was it last week or I think it was the week before last, and I was talking to her, and we were just talking, and I just, I don't know why I told her, I said, you know, if you really want to know what's in my heart, I said, what's really in my heart is, I want us to go on a fast. I said, I want this church to go on a fast. We need to fast and pray. 
We need to pray and fast, fast and pray, pray and fast and fast and pray for the power of God to come into this house and saturate us. See, we, we got, he comes in and he visits us, but I'm telling you, there is a power that we have not experienced yet. Glory, and I see it in my mind. Hallelujah. I want the Holy Ghost to come in here and saturate us so that we won't even be able to minister. Nobody will have to touch nobody. The Holy Ghost just will begin to operate on us all by himself. He can do it. He can do it. We'll be on this floor weeping and wailing and crying. Hallelujah. And we'll be birthing new things. Glory in our spirit and the gifts will activate and they'll operate in this church. Glory uh, as never before, like we've never seen it. That's what I'm asking God to do. That we'll be a real house of prayer. People will be coming. They'll be running in because they know the power of God dwells in this house. Hallelujah. That's what I'm after. Glory, and I'm hungry for it. Y'all got pencils and papers or got your, your, your devices where y'all can take this down? I'm asking, because this ain't going to be, everybody ain't going to do it. I, I know everybody ain't going to do it. And I, and I don't want you if you're not going to do it. I want people that's for real. Because we got work to do. I want some real soldiers. I'm a real, I'm a real soldier. I'm a real soldier. Anybody that's close to me will tell you I'll go to war with you. I sure will. Amen. Amen. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. So I'm asking those of you who will fast and pray with me beginning tomorrow night from midnight until 3 p.m. for the next seven days. So that would be Monday, June the 12th, through Monday, June the 19th, I'm asking that you will refrain from talking a lot, watching a lot of television, playing games, and stay prayerful and read your word so that you're feeding your spirit. Because the goal of fasting is to deny our flesh so that our spirit can be fed and get strong. That's what we need. We need that. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost, because you need the Holy Ghost, tell your neighbor, say, you need the Holy Ghost. Tell them the Holy Ghost is real. It's real. You ain't got to be afraid of it. He ain't going to hurt you. He'll never do nothing to hurt you. Only thing he's going to do is help you. But he is real. He is real. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, I want you to seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost during this time. Because we need the Holy Ghost. We need the power. We need the comforter. Hallelujah. We need him. He'll bring that word back to you. He'll bring it back to you. When that flesh want to act up, you'll have that word and that flesh will have to settle down. If you're married, speak with your husband or your wife and get permission to make sure that they're in agreement to allow you to fast. It's all Bible. Now I'm getting ready to tell you what we're going to pray for. Fast and pray for. Y'all ready? We need to fast and pray for Bishop Burton, Bishop Melvin Burton. 1 Timothy 2, verse 1 through 2 says, pray for those in authority. So we need to pray for him because he is our pastor now. Even though we don't see him, he's our pastor right now. That's how this thing works. We need to pray that God will strengthen him and keep him strong that the Lord will give him the wisdom to lead and guide the jurisdiction 
and give him the, abil the ability to select the right leader for both Holy Trinity and greater community according to Jeremiah 3 and 15, which says the Lord will give us pastors after his heart that shall feed us with knowledge and understanding. Do I need to repeat that? Then we need to fast and pray for Holy Trinity, our church, and for greater community, our sister church in Benton Harbor. We're asking the Lord to pour his spirit out and move us to another dimension in him. I didn't say a level. I said dimension. Dimension, 3D. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Pray that this house, Holy Trinity, will be a house of prayer where the Lord's glory is revealed through signs, wonders, and miracles, and that the Kojic Community Center will flourish once again according to 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, which says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. We need God. We need breakthroughs. We need breakthroughs. We need strategies. We need connections with the right people. That's why we're asking you to pray. Tiffany needs strength over there. Mother Vines needs strength as the board president for the Kojic Center. Hallelujah. That board needs uh, strength, wisdom, and guidance. This is why we're praying and fasting. We got a purpose in mind. And if we'll be diligent and do it, God said it. He said he'll heal the land. He said I'll hear and I'll heal the land. Last but not least, put on the list what you need God to do for you. Put on the list what you need God to do for you. Y'all got that? Yeah. All right. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for the clarion call, God. Now, we can move this. Those of you, because I'm going to do it like the Lord showed me, those of you that's going to commit with me to pray and fast these next seven days, Come on up here to this altar. Hallelujah. 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 Elders and ministers, I need you to anoint every person that's on this altar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Including me. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you for calling us, God. Hallelujah. Don't come if you ain't going to do it. I ain't playing. If you don't mean it, don't come. Because we got real work to do. Glory to God. Don't play with the Holy Ghost. Don't play with him. He ain't a toy. Go buy a toy if you want to play. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm in another anointing right now, y'all. I'm sorry. Glory to God. I mean business for the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anoint me too. Hallelujah. Glory. Anoint our mothers. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. He's going to strengthen us to do it. If you're willing to do it, God's going to strengthen you to do it. Huh? Hallelujah. Come on. Thank him right now. Tell the Lord, yes, Lord. Come on, tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. 
Use me, Lord. I surrender to you, Lord. I surrender to your will, God. Use me for your glory. Use me, Lord. I mean business with you, Lord. I'm seeking your face, Lord. I'm obeying you, Lord. Oh, God, strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Let your anointing rest on us, God. Let your anointing rest on us, God. As we seek your face. As we cry out unto you, oh God. Oh, we need you, Lord. Oh, God, we need you. Yes, Lord. Come on, tell him, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. We're depending on you, Jesus. We're depending on you, Jesus. Work in us, Lord. Work through us, Lord. Work through us, Lord. Oh, God, use us for your glory. We surrender, Lord. We surrender, Lord. We want to be pleasing to you. Use us, God. Use us in your kingdom, God. We we mean business, Lord. We mean business, Lord. We're not playing with you. We're not playing with you. Forgive us now, God. Forgive us for where we fell short, God. Forgive us, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Creating us clean hearts, God. In the name of Jesus. If there's any unforgiveness in us, God, we forgive now. We let it go, Lord. We let it go, Lord. We don't want it, Lord. And when it's hard for me, God, I'm still saying I don't want it, God. Take it from me, Lord. You're able to do it, God. Do heart surgery on me, God. Do heart surgery on me, God. For your glory, God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 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 Use us to weep at your feet. Use us to wail, Lord. Use us to speak your word, God. Use us to cry unto you, God. Use us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your glory be revealed, God. Lord, stir up the gifts, God, as we surrender to you, God. Do it, Lord. We're trusting and depending. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God. Hallelujah. I declare and decree victory. I declare and decree victory in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree victory in this endeavor. I declare and decree victory in this endeavor. Hallelujah. I thank you for those healings that's going to take place, God. I thank you for deliverances, God, that's going to take place, God. I thank you for healing sick minds, God. I thank you for healing drug addictions, God. I thank you for delivering us, God, from every evil work, God. I thank you for delivering us, God, from sexual diversions, God. I thank you for delivering us, God, from vexation, God. I thank you for delivering us, God. Hallelujah for frustrations, God. I thank you for delivering us, God, by your mighty power. Hallelujah. As we submit unto you, God. Oh, God, I thank you for healing the land. I thank you, Lord. We see it before we see it. We praise you for it, oh God. We thank you for it, oh God. We bless you for it, oh God. We praise you for it, God. I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 I plead the blood of Jesus over every household, over every person here, God, on this altar today. I plead your blood, God. Keep us protected. You said when the enemy would come in as a flood, you would raise up a standard, God. Keep us protected from the wiles of the devil, God. Lord, let us feast on your word as never before, God. Give us a hunger and thirst after righteousness, God. Let your glory be revealed in us, O oh Lord. And I thank you. 
I praise you. I magnify you. I give you glory. Oh, God, we love you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Oh, come on, tell him thank you. Oh, hallelujah, thank you. Oh, from the depths of your heart, from the bottom of your heart, from the depths of your soul, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you. Because you're able to do exceeding abundantly above everything, God. Woo. According to the power that worketh in us, we thank you for your power. Oh, God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you today. We bless you today. We bless you today. Oh, God. Open our understanding all the more. And we praise you for it. We bless you for it. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Give us a special love for one another, God. Give us a special love. You told us to have a special love for the household of faith. Give us a special love for one another, God. Give us a special love in the name of Jesus. Help us to bridle our tongues, God. Help us to shut our mouths, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If we can't speak life, God, help us to shut up. God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. And we give you honor. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on and bless him. Come on and thank him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did we miss anybody? that needs special prayer today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did everybody get anointed? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we ask that you would strengthen her, Lord. Any virtue that has left her, Lord, we ask that you will double her portion. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, as she sit in that office all week long, Lord, doing the work of the church, Lord. Lord, we ask that you give her wisdom, Lord. Give her strength, Lord. Give her power from on high, Lord. And Lord, we thank you in advance for all that you will do. Strengthen her body. Heal right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we just thank you for all that you will do and all that you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, give the Lord a praise clap. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't God good? Ain't he good? Hallelujah. He's good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm looking for great and mighty things. I'm not afraid to speak and share, and I'm looking for God to heal you, sis. I ain't playing. I'm looking for God to heal you. I'm looking for God to restore you. Yay, God. Yay, God. Yay, God. Yay, God. Yay, God. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Woo, yay. of her head to the soles of her feet. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. 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 I believe you're able. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Nothing too hard for you. I believe you. I believe you. Yes. 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 Yes.
you, Jesus. Thank 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 you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, God.